you're there to do a job, not to make phone calls to your friends, not to plan the weekend's parties, not to plan other events, but to do your job. And nobody owes you a job. You need to earn that. You need to go in with the attitude that I'm going to do the job and I'm going to do the best job I can. Yeah, I think that the attitude you need to bring here is you need to be positive, you need a realistic idea of what you're going to do today, and you need to just do your work, finish it all, and have a deadline every day. You just need to get the work done, whereas with a career and with work, you need to have a positive attitude, especially if you're dealing in customer relations. You need to have a positive attitude or you're going to lose business. I think good work ethic is just not slacking off. Work as hard as you can, as long as you can, until you get the job done, and make sure you do your best job. We look for somebody who can work through problems, solve problems, and um, will also go to someone else if they can't solve the problem and don't understand what they're trying to solve. Um, it's, it's real important that people um, don't try to um, solve problems that are over their head because mistakes get made that way. And it, in my, in my business, it can cost me um, some money if that happens. Attitude is out there in front of you. It's staring everybody in the face 100% of the time. And to me, that's very important that that attitude needs to be as positive as possible when coming into the workforce. Well, I think when you're looking at um, setting goals in your performance, you want to look at what's realistic and go a step above that. Uh, you have to know that, that that's something, a standard that you're going to be held to. And then you need to know that you have to work really hard to meet those goals. I think the number one thing for any person that's coming to work for anyone is to turn on their hearing aid. Just open their ears to what has been said and observe the things that is around him. 